Yo guys, what is up? Max on our Borderlands 3 video, and today we're talking about Faded Nade Flak, a new grenade flak build. Now, grenade flak builds aren't anything new, but there were some new gear added in the director's cut that allowed flak grenade builds to just skyrocket in damage. And today we're going to talk about everything you guys need to know. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Only 2k away from 150k. And with that, guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so showing on screen is the skill tree for Fade and Nade Flak. Now, the skill tree is going to be a little bit less important to talk about here, and we're more going to be focusing on the interactions at play and how we're able to do so much damage. Now, the number one takeaway that I want you guys, if you haven't didn't know this before, to take away from this video is how strong the Guardian Angel is. The Guardian Angel, new shotgun introduced with Director's Cut, and you can get one in the Vault Cards. Now, you're going to be looking for a U-Red Anointed Guardian Angel, but the reason this weapon is so good for any build that is doing damage, besides shooting this thing, because it's honestly not very good at doing damage when you're shooting. It's not bad, but it's not great. The reason we're using this thing is because this weapon damage increase based on distance that you see at the bottom is for all of your damage. Whatever damage you're doing, it's not just weapon damage, is going to be doing more damage based on the distance you are from your target. Well, how much distance and how much damage? At 25 meters, this thing caps out at 25 meters away from an enemy, you're going to be getting times five damage on whatever damage you're dealing. So because this grenade, this weapon isn't great at killing things when you're holding it, we're using other sources while holding it to take advantage of this damage increase. Now, this is v2 damage and because it's v2 we're not going to be using 390 because diminishing returns 390 is also v2 we'll talk about more of that in a second but the gist of it is we're using this times five damage with urad to get another 150 percent bonus radiation damage we're going into fade away which is going to work with on action skill active grenade damage is increased by 100 150 percent and we're using a revolter shield on action skill start effect uh, activate effects that trigger this shock and rage is going to give us 200%, and you can kind of already see where this is going. We're getting times 5 damage from the Guardian Angel, 150 bonus radiation damage, 200 bonus shock damage, and our grenade is going to be getting 150% increased damage. This is what allows us to one-shot any enemy in the game with a single grenade. Uh, go through all of the stages of Hemophorus. Uh, it is ridiculous, ridiculous damage. And on top of that, you can quickly debuff an enemy with the Zetsiv's Eruption or an Execute to do even more damage, which for a lot of these one-shots I was using. Now, in terms of the grenade, because this is a big part, it's best if you can get a triple sticky grenade. The manufacturer doesn't matter as much. Uh, TDRs will do the most damage. It's a lot easier to apply a sticky uh, with like a longbow, a Hyperion sticky longbow. And these grenades are tough to get. Your best chance of getting these grenades are going to be from a vending machine. We'll talk about grenade substitutes that you can use just as well. But the Discord is open. Uh, you guys really liked that we were giving away that Super Soldier Shield, the level one one. So Discord in the description and in the pinned comment to download this safe, we'll be giving away these grenades on both consoles so that you can guys, you guys can try this out for yourself. Now, the reason this triple sticky is so good is because it's plus 200% damage to stuck target but each time that that sticky applies or technically hits and it's all instantaneous it reapplies all of the damage that you're already putting into it basically double dips in all of the damage that you're already increasing it by aka uh it's it's stupid damage stupid 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 damage now for mobbing um and i was also using a friend bot and an Elemental Projector Deathless. I wasn't really benefiting from the Elemental Projector, but just a Deathless so that we can use U-Red with the Revolter. Um, and then a friend bot with as many points into Barbaric Yop as you can. This is just the best damage that you can get. As many points into Barbaric Yop for this pet bonus. And we're getting this Elemental Damage plus 50%. That is how we're able to do this much damage. Now, for mobbing, there's a few things that you can do because... Your survivability on a U-Red Deathless Flak build is not very good. I was dying all the time. And this is definitely not as great of a build for mobbing as it is for just going into farm bosses. It's really good for farming bosses. But for mobbing, because I wanted to be able to do that on this 
class two you can either use the roll reversal class mod i have a terrible roll reversal here it helps me literally zero but this passive if you can get four into throat ripper or even five if you put on for example the shotgun jabber or a beefcake jabber your jabber will be hitting crits like crazy and you'll have infinite grenade ammo or infinite grenades uh, you can use a bunch of different grenades if you want to throw hunter seekers those work really really well if you want to use tiny's hippity hopper a fish lap a widow maker um the best thing that i've found and uh shout out to cz who showed me how strong these grenades can be are um like this thing the rubber uh rubberized fixative that with the rubberized passive this will just bounce around to a bunch of targets and do crazy crazy damage but i found it was better because these sticky grenades work a lot better when they're stuck to targets and then you have to aim them if you use a peregrine your peregrine class mod will not miss and then you can get all the bonuses of these stuck grenades to enemies and just absolutely obliterate them however you're doing so much damage and there's so much grenades going on that i was dying a ton so in order to counteract that i put on a red suit shield with a radiation grenade and and a uh i switched to the peregrine sorry i know this is a little bit confusing with flock and load and rack accelerate which allows me to spam racks all around spam racks uh they'll be doing radiation damage i'll be immune to all of it i can use the elemental projector deathless because i'll be on rad all the time or an atom bomb deathless with the peregrine to spam these grenades while still holding the guardian angel the guardian angel will increase the damage of the racks that they do and it'll increase the damage of the grenades that are hitting on top of that we're getting you red for both the grenade and the rack uh aka this is going to deal deal a ton of damage uh it really really does and this is the way that i would use it for mobbing i'm sorry that's a little confusing i do like to switch setups sometimes but for bossing friend bot revolter uh atom bomb deathless is fine and then whatever grenade you really want to use uh for bossing once again it's just best if you're using something that has triple sticky because you're going to get that crazy damage when you stick them to a target for our skill tree not as important here uh, we're trying to pick up as many damage increases as we can we're using eager to impress and head count so that we have low cooldown times um using rack accelerate and flock and load for additional racks and if we're using fade away we're going to be just be using the pet taunt and uh lastly blue tree dominance for just a chance of a little bit more survivability pack tactics everything that says pat um that increases flax damage is going to apply to all of our damage so things like frenzy things like pack tactics are going to be really good for all the damage that we're doing guys that is it for the build i just wanted to go over it quickly and try to keep it as short as possible i'm sorry this was ever confusing uh twitch.tv slash moxie if you got any questions you want to pop over there i'll be playing this build and uh, showcasing what it can do because the damage is absolutely crazy i will catch y'all in the next one take care guys peace I was putting